Dave, you got through 90 minutes with a point on the board. I'm pretty sure your side deserves something out of that game. Yeah, look, I thought it was a... I'm not sure if people class it as a local derby, but it sort of resembled one if, it's not, if, if people don't think it was one. Certainly close, you know, close teams, if you like, uh, ge geographically. I thought it wasn't a particularly pretty game. I don't think we passed the ball as well as we should. What I do think, I thought we defended excellently. I thought we had men, which is not always the case. You know, we didn't have it at Burton, for example, and the young kids sometimes struggle with that. But you look at Billy Sass Davis as a man. He went to Yeovil as a giddy little kid, at, you know, leaving hotel mum and dad, and he come back a man, and we, we thank Darren, Darren Saul and, and the Yeovil you know, people for that. And he showed that today. You look at Luke Offord. He went to Witten for three months. Absolute warrior. Look at Travis Johnson, who's been at Hyde, and what else has he been? He's been to Kids Grove, something like that, I can't remember. But he's finding his feet in first team football in an unfamiliar position, slightly unfamiliar position, you know. He gets told today he's playing in a different position. You know, you, and you, even like you call me, of this world who's played enough games, it's slightly unfamiliar still, you know, but he's tactically astute. Then you've got you know, three lads in the middle. Regan, who comes on the pitch after ten minutes, I thought was excellent. Tom, obviously, and Ollie Finney, and, and they're keeping their end up. You know, they're like shouts on it's men against boys. I'm like, yeah, yeah, it is, <laughs> it is. You know, and just think how good they're going to be when they get what, you know, the, the physical side of the game. But I thought we showed that in abundance today. Like I said, there's obviously the odd criticisms about we needed to play a bit more football. We get that. But you're coming up against a team fourth in the form table, who have beaten Sunderland recently and Sheffield Wednesday recently. It was always going to be a tough game. Make no bones about it. Steve Cockrell's teams are tough, and they're tough because he sets them up to be effective. Uh, that's uh, you know you got, you always got to be careful when you talk about the opposition mm. because people can misconstrue. No, no, the fourth in the form table for a reason, um, and you've got to nullify their effectiveness. And I thought we did that superbly well, like excellently, because we had warriors and men and people who wanted to, you know, fight for the for the share and play for the share. I thought you saw that in abundance today, and you, know, you could say we're patched up. We've got three lads on the bench who, who was excellent in the youth cup game last night. You know, and it's probably a bit unfair on them. Um, but, but needs must, you know, needs must. We didn't want them to miss out on on last night's experience. But this is the most important 90 minutes of the week at this football club. And they deserve the place on the bench. So, you know, all in all, they put a shift in last night and we've had 14 lads who've put an absolute shift in today to get us a point. For me, that, that performance was um, more pleasing than Wednesday night. To, to, to follow up Wednesday night with that, you know, Charlton's staff were complaining about their performance and, and following them playing Norwich and it's sort of a bit of a, the after Lord, Lord Mayor's parade that could have been our Lord Mayor's parade today and it wasn't, it was, it was the exact opposite, it was 14 lads, 18 lads including the young lads from last night going this is our football club and that's that makes me a proud man I have to say Just going back to Charlton and including your game against uh, Shrewsbury, there was a few, quite a lot of traits that you don't assume to Alexander in your play in terms of battling, standing up, wanting to fight, wanting to do this, that and the other. Yeah. How important is that, that you can mix it up? Well, well, we've got a clean sheet because of that. Did we sort of do it um, sometimes when we didn't need to? Yeah, maybe. But that's part of our lads' development, our lads' learning, knowing when to have the after win second balls and, and sort of turn it and hook it on and when they can just control it and, and do a bit of ball manipulation to, to, to get us playing. You know, we had a spell, a ten minute spell towards the end of the first half where Molly Finney's had a, a shot blocked in the six yard box on the line, whatever you want to say. The lad stays down, it sort of stunted our momentum after ten minutes of probing. That was the only real spell. And they've had lots of territory in the second half and a header from a corner. I can't remember Trigger making another save because of how well we did sort of in the mid third to limit their you know penalty box entries and you, sometimes you can't do anything about throw-ins and, and corners and, and even that we had the answers to that and like I say it's not just 
Billy or Luke or Travis or Trigger, it's, it's as a team going, we are not going to lay down, we are not going to get beat, we are not going to, um, you know, surrender anything. You know, there was a melee scramble at the end two months ago, that's probably a goal. The lads throwing blocks and, you know, just filling the goal and going, we are not getting beat. And that's not something we particularly practice, but it's something that I would hope the players, um, it gets ingrained in the players by how we treat them fairly and um, how we help them to develop. And, and I hope that that's how they show they repay their faith in us, if you like, as a football club. And, and they did today, that's for sure. It's great to get goals and win football matches, but second best is to get clean sheets. And we did speak a week or so ago, you conceded eight. I know against a good Rotherham team four, <coughs> you also conceded yeah. four uh, against Burton, and it hurt a little bit, and they're back on track, because you've got to get clean sheets as well. Yeah, of course, listen, if you're not going to win the game, actually, you don't lose it. I know it's an old cliche and adage and all the rest of it. I, I thought we were terrific on that side of the game today, and that was really, really, really pleasing. Is it sort of not? Our DNA as a team? Not really, I suppose. You know, I, I can't. It has to be, you know, if we want to be really successful. But for, you know, we've, we've, what we've finished with eight, eight academy lads and 13 in the 18, you know, that's, they, they, find, they can find that tough because they've not been brought up that way. And the system now, you know, across the board, not just at this football club, but across the board, tends to go that way. So for us to perform like we did and do that, that side of the game as well as we did is really pleasing because, you know, Shrewsbury asked them questions. Shrewsbury asked them questions. They are a powerful team. Um, and I thought we showed the same amount of power, if not the, um, the sort of quality on the ball that as, as often as we'd like. That we, are, that we are renowned for, so that's, that's a, a point for them to learn, but like I say, you'd, you'd, you'd rather it be nil-nil and have that point than, than not win the game and, or lose the game and, and have lots of the ball, if you like. That's where, that's where we are in, you know, that's the situation we're faced with. You mentioned quite a lot of the, the, the youth team lads who have appeared for, the, for you in that competition were, were on your bench. Tyrese Onik, who was on your bench as well, and, and it was another one you've handed a, a, a League One debut to. He, he must be chuffed that you know he's gone on the pitch and his team hasn't <laughs> lost. Well, I, after every, at the end of every game, I send me a bit, and some of the other staff say their bit, and I ask every single player anything to say and anything to say, and, and not just anything to say, and nobody says anything and walk out, particularly out. You know, point to each player, and he just said thanks. <laughs> it's, you don't need to thank me. It's not, it's not me you thank. It's yourself. It's that reward for all them years of hard work. But it's just the beginning, and we'll see where we get to with him. You know, he's, he's got a long way to go, Tyrese. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how he develops. It's a long way to the next game because it's next Saturday. You've got a free week. You know what's coming. The final question: Is it a busy week in that January window for you? It's been. Uh, an extremely busy, busy week. I think I've had, uh, I think I had Thursday night in the house. Since well, or I've not been out. I've been, you know, last Saturday I went to a game. Sunday I was on a course. Monday I was on a course. Tuesday I was in training and went to Bolton Wigan. Yeah, Bolton Wickham. Wednesday recruitment all day in here. Thursday meeting at half nine. Last meeting at quarter past ten. You know. Uh, yesterday, was in training. Went to Leicester. Today, you know, I, I had a, you know, a morning in the house. Um, and that's the week. I'm, that's not a complaint, or I don't need to. I'm not stealing Peter Morse's thunder for the diary either. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> but uh, just, that, that's the week. That's how it is.